Hello, I am offering today a Singer, and this is a 185J. It's got the pretty little red S, which is part of the actual thread length. This is a straight stitch machine, and it is basically a more modern style of a 66 and a 99, which both of the machines, the only difference is in their size. They have drop-in bobbins, and um, they use a class 66 bobbin. And so this machine is nearly in mint condition. I mean, there's a few little, you know, chippies, but not really anything of any sizable overall it looks terrific now when I got it it uh, had a base and the base it's a singer case and the base was completely in four or five pieces so I tore off all the it had material on it and tore it off sanded it and painted it and um, I did add some let's see if I can this machine is heavy <laughs> it is not aluminum it's definitely it's got to be cast iron let me lift it up okay oops see and I'm on a rickety tray table so it's hard to get it up and over but you can see it's in perfect condition and I always put a paper towel right after I've oiled it so it can soak up the oil spots oil drips but uh, and I did put some extra bumpers in the corners because I needed to raise it up enough because this this case really was meant for a 99 so I had to raise it up a little bit more so that when you go to open up the bobbin uh, cover you don't hit the case so now you can see there's room and I put feet on it they're screwed on they're not glued on um, so they're they're gonna last a nice long time I also was able to locate a glass because um, the glass was missing in the light and this is uh, a magnifying type of a, of a glass. And I also, uh, for the most part, put in LED bulbs. So it has an LED and this doesn't get hot at all. It's wonderful. And then, of course, there's the motor. It's all green. It's all original. It is two-tone green. The balance wheel and the front are a light pale lime green. And I, I used a, it, it's a green, almost like a greenish teal, more on the green side, just to add some co color. I'm not matchy-matchy. Um, and there's the matching foot control, which is original. All the wiring is really good, nice and pliable, no, no stiffness, no cracking. This machine has been well-maintained, well taken care of. And okay, so what I'm going to do now, I've I wanted to show the threading because I don't believe there are 185J manuals out there. I'm looking for one, and if I can, I'll I'll include it. But uh, so I I use a spool pin doily because I use a cone of thread, and um, so I always use the spool pin doily kind of as a a little um, control for the thread and so you bring it down hook it under this hook bring it up through one of the holes it's a class 66 and then you push this down and of course release the the needle so the needle doesn't move while you wind the bobbin and see I thought I would show you in action does a fantastic job of filling that um, and you can see the needles not moving 
Okay, now this one does not have an automatic uh, where it'll turn off when it's full. So you have to pay attention, which I almost overfilled it. I kind of think I might have. And so then you just lift up on it and pull the thread off. I'm going to put the phone down and um, thread the machine and then show you how it stitches. Okay, I'm back. The machine threads exactly like a 66 or a 99. So again, I, I use the spool pin doilies as kind of a little guide, thread guide, for my thread. It comes over here to this first little thread guide, hooks, and it comes down here through the um, tension discs up and over and you kind of hold it towards towards you and then come past it and then hook to this check spring and then it comes down through here up to the um, thread bar and then down through these two guides and then it shows you on the plate it threads from left to right and the needle is set with the flat pointing towards the right. And it's again, it's a drop in bobbin. And you have it um, so that, gosh, I did it so quickly, I don't even think about it. Um, so that the thread comes off around like that, like it goes clockwise. And then you bring it and hook it under this little thread guide right here and then pull it through and the bobbin should when you pull on this thread go counterclockwise because the thread's going clockwise okay and so then you just slide this shut and see this little nick here that's where the thread it's hard to do with one hand let me switch hands As you close it. And you don't want it close it's closed on the thread. Heck, another thing is just leave it open a little bit. <laughs> since I'm trying to do this all with one hand, since my other hand is holding the camera. And then you pull the thread up. Catch it. And there you go. Now you can shut the bobbin door all the way. Okay? Alrighty. This is eight minutes long. I'm going to go ahead and stop it here and start another video for the showing of it sewing. Thank you. Bye.